where there's fog. It's not out of the question that there's a little freezing fog, so that could lead to a couple of slick spots here, especially over parts of Franklin, Western Cumberland, Western Adams County. So uh, just be wary in those areas. Otherwise, once you head further to the east, this is Carlisle. It's just cloudy. These are low clouds. You can see the visibility at the ground is just fine. 33 degrees. Southwest wind already picking up at eight miles per hour. So the southwest wind is going to help chip away at these clouds as we head over the next few hours. It might just take a little while to get there. Most of us right now are in the low to mid 30s, but if sky did clear out where you live overnight. Your temperatures have dropped down into the 20s, some of us even down closer to 20 degrees. And again, you can see that southwest wind picking up everywhere, and it will turn a bit breezy, especially as we head into this afternoon. Look at the last month, by the way. The reason why I'm showing this is because yesterday was the first day that we had a below normal high and low combined since all the way back on February 4th. So yeah, all of those days, that's three weeks, we were warmer than average. And then finally yesterday, we could say it was a seasonably chilly day for winter standards. That's obviously not going to last because of this afternoon, but you can see those clouds on the satellite right now further north and west of Harrisburg. Not much happening, so you'll wake up to some sunshine in Lewistown and Mifflin Town, while the rest of us will just have to be a little patient at times this morning. So the weather is looking good later today. Quiet tonight. There's a little front that's going to sink through, though, and that will allow those numbers again to drop tomorrow morning, and that is critical because there's a next uh, storm or an area of low pressure that's moving into Arizona right now. This is going to race across across the country here over the next 24 hours, and it's actually going to be in Pennsylvania by tomorrow afternoon. It's going to bring us a wintry mix by later in the day. So as we head into this afternoon, clearing skies. So again, I'd say about 8, 9, 10 a.m. We're shortly in there somewhere. We'll start to clear those clouds out. We should be good here for the rest of the day. Then tonight, those numbers fall back down to near 30. So another seasonable start tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon, here is the leading edge of that precip. Now again, over the last 24 hours, things have trended colder. It does look like we're going to see a wintry mix to start for most of us. Now it could be snow, especially for areas further to the north, while for a lot of us it'll be some sort of a snow sleet mixture. And then by tomorrow evening, later in the evening hours, areas along Route 30 should switch over to mainly rain while we're still mixing at times further to the north. So we will have to watch for some slick spots, especially tomorrow evening. Now temperatures are going to be marginal, only a few degrees below freezing at worst, but still if the sleet is coming down steady enough, that could lead to some slick spots. This then exits as we head into Tuesday morning. So what to expect tomorrow? Wintry mix develops during the afternoon. Temperatures drop as that moves in down into the 30s and then that slow snow and sleet mix continues for the north and then it'll be mainly rain for areas along and south of Route 30. Everything then wraps up late tomorrow night into Tuesday morning. Temperatures bounce back. For the middle part of the week, 57 on Wednesday. How about back to 61 on Thursday? And then colder again for next weekend. So there is a lot happening in the next I seven days. I love Thursdays. I yes. don't know why. Well, maybe it's because the last three Thursdays have been some of the warmest weather we've seen this year. And also it's our Saturday. So. Yeah.